Hey Sagittarius, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do a weekly reading for you for April 18th through April 24th. All right, so we're actually going to be doing kind of an oracle card reading for you this week. Okay, so we're starting with oracle cards and then we'll clarify with tarot. So we're basically taking a look at what's going on right now for you in the connection as well as what is coming for you in this particular connection, relationship. It might be a past connection. It might be a new connection. Okay, it might be an old connection as well. All right, so take it however it resonates. All right, so we're also going to take a look at what you need to focus on right now. Also, what is your heart saying? Do you trust it? Do you trust your heart? Do you trust your intuition? Do you trust your feelings? All right, so we have that. There's also the self-talk. The self-talk that we tell ourselves. So usually the self-talk is going against what, what our heart is saying, okay? So what self-talk needs to cease? We're also going to take a look at what spirit sees in this connection that you may not. I'm having a terrible time shuffling here. What does spirit see that you do not see? And then what do you need to know about the connection moving forward? What is it that you need to know about the connection, the relationship, whatever it is, moving forward? And then finally, what is the time frame or what is a special piece of information that you need to know when it comes to this connection? Let's see. All right. All right, we're all set. So we're going to take a look at this card first. This is about what's going on right now for you in the connection, in the relationship. Wow. Rainbow blessings. Blessings are showering your life. So are you seeing it that way? Because sometimes blessings show up as positive things. Sometimes blessings show up as what we perceive as negative things too. But blessings mean that, you know, I feel like the universe is trying to get you back on track or back on your path or show you that maybe some of the difficulties that you've experienced have been for a reason, have been for a reason to get you to go in a certain direction. But blessings are showering your life, whether you realize it or not. So let's see what that's about. What are these blessings about? The magician. So what that's saying is that you are responsible for the blessings that are showing up in your life based on what you are manifesting. So when the magician shows up, it's about... You know, what's ever showing up for you, whatever blessings are showing up for you are based on how you've been thinking about the situation, how you've been thinking about the connection, okay? If you've been thinking negatively about a connection, okay, then the lessons are showing up as negative situations, okay? But even if they show up as negative situations, they're still those are still a blessing because sometimes negative situations show up specifically to turn your focus to something more positive. All right, so I feel like this is you. 
the blessings that are showing up, whether you see them as negative or positive, it's coming from you. How you have been thinking about this connection. One more. Okay. So we've got the Eight of Wands here, which says there's been some type of communication or there's some type of communication that's happening right now or within the week that is considered a blessing when it comes to this relationship or this connection. Let's see, what is that communication around? It's around you, Sagittarius. Knight of Wands is Sagittarius. All right, so this communication is either about you, it's for you, and it's in some way to show you the blessings that surround you. Okay, so the next question here is what is um, coming for you in this connection? All right, so we have precognition, psychic ability, future vision. So you might be experiencing this right now. Um, this connection might have, might have a true soul connection. It might have a true magical quality that brings out certain psychic abilities for you. Okay, and, you know, as far as Sagittarius goes, this, this is really interesting because the biggest thing that most, well, Sagittariuses are here on this planet for is to connect with their, with their spiritual, with their spirituality, okay? It's something that Sagittarius sometimes has a struggle with. So I feel like whoever this person is in your life they might be helping you take a second look at your spirituality. And you might, you might be getting visions of what is ahead in this connection. Okay? Your psychic abilities might be showing themselves right now. You might be noticing odd things happening. You might be noticing special types of dreams or visions that you're having. Your third eye might be opening in some way. So what's this precognition about for you? We have the emperor. All right, so the emperor, card of Aries. You might have some type of precognition about a specific person, an Aries. Um... You know, I feel like for most of you, you probably are trying to control this, control these psychic abilities that you might be picking up on. You may not like it. You might say, ooh, this is not something that I really want to, to be a part of. One more here for the Emperor. Ten of Swords. So I feel like um, for some of you, you you have some foresight, okay, we'll call it that. You have some foresight around an Aries perhaps that might have betrayed you or that you have betrayed, okay? Um, for a lot of you, I feel like this is your attitude towards these psychic abilities. You might be saying, no thanks, okay? And it's like, it's like stabbing the universe in the back because the universe is trying to show you something that you are resisting. You are resisting. Why? Hermit. You know, it feels like you prefer, this is Virgo energy, you know, you prefer to, you prefer to figure something out on your own, possibly without the help of the universe. You might go to somebody um, specific 
obviously here on earth that you trust for advice. For some of you, you know, the psychic ability does interest you and you might be going to somebody to ask them about that. You might be curious about it. Even though I feel like you, on some level, reject it at the same time. This is interesting. All right, so what do we have here? What is it that I need to focus on right now? Patience. Okay, so this is saying here, you know, and honestly, Sagittarius, this is not your best quality. Okay, patience. You know, something, you know, I almost feel like you have to go through this in order to get to this connection or to have this connection be fulfilling. Realizing possibly your mission here might be spiritually connected in some way. So spirit is calling on you to have some patience. Some patience over what? Knight of Cups. So this might be your feelings. This might be your person's feelings. You know, if you um, are kind of reticent about sharing your feelings with somebody, I feel like that's, that's okay. And also it's okay if it's the reverse. If your person is reticent about sharing their feelings with you, it feels like it's okay to take your time. It's okay to be patient. Remember over here, Knight of Wands, this is very non-committal energy. You might be building up to, to really understanding what you want as far as a commitment or if you want a commitment. So I feel like this is saying be patient with yourself, be patient with your feelings. One more on the Knight of Cups. Yes, patience, Four of Swords, taking a break, being okay with not doing anything, okay? All right, so what do we have here? What is your heart saying right now? What is it that your heart is telling you? Look at that, worth waiting for. <laughs> Divine timing is at work in your love life. So that's what we're getting through this, you know, through this reading here is that whatever you have, whatever connection you have, whatever relationship you have will wait for you, especially if you're going through, I feel like this could be a spiritual awakening here. And that's why this over here, blessings are showering your life. Well, they may not feel like blessings, okay? They may feel more like challenges, but blessings will show up through challenge, even if you're going through challenges. For some of you, it might feel like smooth sailing and everything is going blissfully well. But for a lot of you, it's showing up as challenges. And it's based on how you've been thinking in the past. It really is. If you think about how you've been thinking, maybe when it comes to this connection... You know, what have you been, what has dominated your thoughts? All right. And you might have been doing that specifically because you might have sensed that it wasn't the right time at, you know, at an earlier point, or you knew that you needed time in order to get to the point where, you know, you're not running away from commitment, you're running towards it. Okay. So something is worth waiting for here. And I feel like the universe, divine timing, destiny has played a huge part in this connection. Look at, look at that wheel of fortune, destiny. It's worth waiting for because it's a destined connection. Okay. That's all we need to say about that. All right. So what is some of the self-talk that you've been telling yourself that needs to go? Let's see. Naked before the stars. Okay. 
So what do you think that means? Naked before the stars. It's like when you think of putting yourself out there, when you think of, you know, being naked, you know, in, you know, not literally necessarily, but being completely naked, being completely vulnerable. What does the star stand for in tarot? It stands for your heart's desire. I feel like when you think of whoever your person is, whoever your heart's desire is, you find it very difficult to be naked in front of them, meaning to be completely vulnerable. You know, so you give yourself reasons and excuses not to be vulnerable with your person. So let's see, what is this about here? The chariot, card of cancer, you might be dealing with a cancer. Um, one more. Seven of cups, okay. So I feel like you're a little bit confused, Seven of Cups, about what your heart's desire actually is. Because even though somebody might be in your life right now that you might consider your heart's desire, you're really confused about the, the commitment aspect of it. And so you don't know if it's worth making yourself vulnerable to this person is it worth putting my heart out there is it worth me possibly making a fool of myself one more eight of swords in order to free yourself of this and this is repetitive thinking it's like you can't you can't see your way right now. You can't see that making yourself vulnerable to somebody is really is really the best thing that you could do for yourself. So you're a little bit stuck. You're a little bit stuck when it comes to any movement towards your heart's desire, whoever that is. And again, in a way, I'm not saying that this is a good energy, but it might be happening for a reason, okay? It might be, you might be doing this to yourself for a reason, although, you know, I feel like it's, it's almost never a good thing to hold back who you really are. But what, what this is telling me is, is that the universe might be waiting for you to catch up. Might be waiting for you to catch up to what it is that the universe has in store for you. All right, so what do we have here? Um, what does spirit see that you do not see right now? Action. So... Spirit sees some type of action that you might be taking or that that someone might be taking towards you. So what is that about? What is that about? Hangman, Ten of Cups. Page of Swords. So when you or whoever I feel like has a different perspective, I feel like this is you. When you have a new perspective on what emotionally fulfills you, when you really understand what it is that you truly want, what is truly emotionally fulfilling for you, suddenly the truth shows up. And, and you feel a, a need to take action. And it doesn't matter 
what other people think. It doesn't matter, you know, what other people, opinions, judgments, it matters what you feel. It matters what you think. It matters what you want. What fulfills you? Is it a commitment with somebody? Is it growing old together? Is it having children? Is it traditional marriage? Is it more of a spiritual connection? I feel like the universe is seeing action that you're going to take or somebody in your life is going to take, but it requires an epiphany or a realization about what you truly want or what they truly want. All right, so what do we have here? What do I need to know about this connection going forward? Courage. Let me be open to courageously take the steps that are shown. All right, so it feels like there's something that you might be afraid to do. And we see it right here, okay? You're afraid to move towards your heart's desire because you might feel like it ends up trapping you in some way. Like you can't, you lose your freedom. You might look at relationship as losing your freedom. So it requires courage. It requires a new perspective of what really emotionally fulfills you. So let's look at courage. Okay, courage to speak passionately, to speak your truth in a passionate way. High Priestess, to trust your intuition and act and communicate. So that's where you need courage, is you need to trust your intuition, be able to speak it passionately. And this is about moving forward. You know, instead of standing still in our thoughts, it's about moving forward and communicating. It's about taking what we've been thinking and putting it into action courageously. I feel like your, your courage will be rewarded. All right, so finally, what do we have here? This could be um, a timing card or it could be um, some type of special information. Look at, listen to your intuition. That kind of feels like, you know, a theme here. Listening to your intuition about what? What specifically? Three of Wands. Three of Wands, Five of Cups, Empress. Okay, so I feel like when it comes to listening to your intuition, okay, it's okay to wait. It's okay to wait. It's okay to wait for your ships to come in whatever that means to you. But it's also important while you're waiting to acknowledge, you know, whatever it is that, you know, I feel like you've lost something along the way. It could be a relationship. It could be, you know, people in your lives, friendships, jobs, whatever it is, while you're waiting. And I feel like you know, the, the universe is definitely saying that there is a delay and it's because of you. So whatever you have lost needs to be healed, addressed, because there is this beautiful connection here just waiting for you. And that beautiful connection, the Empress, is somebody that you ultimately consider your ideal person your divine feminine or your divine connection. You consider this person that. And you can't necessarily, you might be struggling a little bit with, you know, why do I do this to myself? 
Why am I so afraid to be vulnerable in front of the person that I consider my heart's desire to be? The universe is waiting for you. And, however, destiny will not wait. Okay? You have some time right now, but destiny, the wheel will turn when the wheel is ready to turn. This is saying, your heart is saying that this is worth waiting for, but you're waiting because of you, not because of the other person. You're waiting. You feel, you might feel like you're waiting for them, but I feel like they're waiting for you. I feel like the universe is waiting for you to catch up. All right. All right, Sagittarius. That is what I have for you. If you're looking for a deeper, more personal reading, definitely reach out to me. If not, no worries. I will talk to you next time. All right. Thanks so much. Bye.